Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, so this is a super cut from a live stream. Uh, I do stream from time to time on Twitch. I don't have a set schedule yet for obvious reasons. Uh, in case you, you know, since if you haven't been around. But I will leave a link in the description to my Twitch. It's actually pretty easy because it's twitch.tv slash nerding around. Um, also, also, I have some new content coming up. I have kind of I don't know if I discuss it in this video or another stream, but either way, enjoy the video, guys. It's uh, not too bad. <laughs> Alright, so we need to clean this up. Um, I do have some plans set for Porth Call, but the only problem is, I mean, I have some defenses up, but I need to expand out because what I want to do is I want to turn this into the central keep. And then I want these individuals to have their own homes. Okay. Now the question, how do I want to do that? If I want to keep this as the, as the central keep, that means I need to upgrade these. I'm thinking about like doing a Mott and Bailey design. All right. Now while I can't necessarily raise the level of soil, at least not yet. I don't think that's any plans of them doing it. Um, what I can do instead is redesigned like redesign this area right here as what's going to be the village and then I'll just if I have to expand out houses outside that's what I do because I, I really want the workers like specialized workers like a real village that's at least that's the main goal here all right Let's plan out a house. Like, how do we want our first house to go for for the villagers here? We can do a clay wall, or we can do limestone. I'm thinking limestone would be better. Uh, would be a better source, but we need to start cutting limestone out. I actually like that. That's that's uh, that's pretty good. And we'll do a wooden door here. A superior roof. All right, so now, let's see. A clay brazier would be nice. Heat output, structure dimensions. A clay brazier can go right here in the middle, which is gonna be awesome. We'll put a wooden torch outside the house. And we will move one of the hay sleeping spots uh, inside of there. That would that would that would actually make my day if I could right there. Uh, furniture right there, and then this house is going to get the first ever wooden bed. This too shall pass. An ailing traveler shuffled haltingly into Porthcall. Given time to recuperate, he claimed they could work. But in that moment, they looked pretty rough. Would Goffred be permitted to join and convalesce? Of course, Goffred. Porthcall is a safe haven for those who need it. And I believe... I think you have the right religious alignment with us. You are a wicked army cook. Hmm. You are also known as the Spy of Aerith. You're 27 years old. Uh, you're about 84 kilos. Um, I'm not really good with the metric system here. And you're 150 centimeters. Once again, not good with the set. But he has really good culinary skills. Roughly that calculates to 185 pounds and four feet 11 inches tall he's a shorty we could use a pretty decent cook um, <clears throat> he's really good at culinary marksman animal handling and tailoring as well I think this person would be a valued member to the town to the village because we're not a town yet but to the village of Portcall. come on in Goffred come on in 
rest your weary bones. Sybil should be burned alive by the disciples, she stated factually. Uh, with eyes dim, trailing sooty rags, would, would you save them from the flames? She may be pursued. Oh no. Oh, she's a she's an excellent tailor. She's probably another oak bre be brethren, I think. She's not all that smart. <sighs> she's a ruthless tanner. Man, I I really hope she's not another cannibal. I really hope she's not another cannibal. We need we need the hands. Like we need the extra people on the on the farm, like to help out around. What will be chasing her? Okay, for sure, one archer. A fierce marauder. Five marauders. And a movable trebuchet? Why would they... Who is Sybil? <laughs> who, who, who's Sybil here? Why would they send a trebuchet after Sybil? That's absolutely insane. I think we can handle it. I think we can handle it. I think we can handle it. All right. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna help her out. We're gonna help her out. These Salem's demands. Okay. Oh, here we go, guys. I have no idea why they brought a trebuchet, but okay. I think that's a bit much. All right. Um. Get inside. Which way are these bat these dorks running? Good shot, girl. she stays behind that those those uh, palisades she'll be fine come on Sabine finish him off come on finish him off Uh, man, it's been a while. You're absolutely right. I've been alright. I can't complain too much, to be completely honest. Oh, we got an archer. Did they drop a bow? They did. That's great. What's going on over here? Oh, and they fell for a trap. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Come on, kill the other... Kill the bastard. Gotcha. Oh man. We have a lot oh and they drop and they have iron we steel weapons. Oh my goodness, this is a game changer for our for the people of Porthcall. This is definitely a game changer. 
and a war bow. This is a game changer. Uh oh. Uh oh. They're inside. They're inside the walls. Everybody get inside. There we go. Nice shot, Sabine. God dog, man. Sabine has been like, she's been wrecking it with the, uh... She's been absolutely just cleaning the house. Every time we get invaded, she's always with the wind. Like... Straight up dubs all the time. It's not even funny. Ooh, that was a headshot, I think. Oh, they destroyed our smoker. That's okay. Oh shoot, they've made it inside, uh, one of them's made it inside the sally port. shield. Target the one shooting, hitting our door. Oh man, that's... Prepare to defend ourselves. Alright! Sabine, Sabine Miller Chip was the bravest of the settlers dealing the most blows to the foe. Sabine Miller took the most damage from the enemy, thinking only of defending Poikal in its hour of need. Some of the buildings in Poikal were destroyed. Wooden door, wooden wall, uh, smokehouse, campfire, butchering table. That is awesome. No, no, no. Don't banish. No, no. Talking about. Man. Boom. Beatrix is dead. We got ourselves an iron helmet. We got ourselves a bludgeon. We got ourselves we got ourselves a pretty decent haul from here. That is pretty awesome. I mean, minus the buildings, of course. Those can be replaced. We have the materials. I'm not concerned about that. That is awesome. That is great. Things that got some houses that are 
Oh, that's gonna have to be relit. Obviously. Um, that's awesome. I am so happy about that. I was really concerned too. I'm surprised they didn't run in from the back wall. Look at that. They actually... Um, I'm actually kind of surprised. They tore through that back wall, but they didn't do anything about it. Hmm. I mean, not gonna complain. Uh, put down another, another gate. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm going to save the game.